The last non-Kenyan winner of this event was Branislav Malinowski, the pole, in 1980. So none of these men were born the last time someone other than a Kenyan won this event. And since 1988, they collected two medals in 1988, and they've collected at least two medals in every Olympic game since then. France has never won, but they've got a chance here through Cabal and McKissie, who's been the silver medalist in the last couple of stagings. It's always spectacular. The Kenyans are always difficult to beat. The 3,000 steeplechase in Rio, and it's underway. And Conceslas Capruto sprints off the line and makes sure that he's going to be up the front of the race. Kemboy is in the middle of the pack. Brim and Capruto drops to the tail of the field. McKissie goes up very quickly. He sprinted out just as Conceslas Capruto did. Jager the American goes up in a third spot early. And now the Brazilian De Silva is going to make a run around the field and that'll get the crowd interested. He goes from back at the tail of the field into the middle of the field. But it's going to be Conceslas Capruto who will lead from McKissie as they go to the first of the barriers. This has got the makings of a truly epic race. You have the greatest steeplechaser in history in Ezekiel Kemboy. He became the first man ever to win two Olympic titles at this most competitive, most brutal of distances. The man who beat him to the gold medal in 2008, Brimin Kipruto, who's now moving up towards the outside. And you've got the young pretender to the crown, Conceslas Kipruto, who leads at the moment and finished second behind Ezekiel Kemboy in the last two editions of the World Championship. Conceslas Kipruto only knows one way to race, and that is from the front. To his advantage, yes, because he's fast, but also a possible weakness, yes, because Ezekiel Kemboy and the rest of the field all know exactly what they have to do. They've got to stick with him, and then they've got a chance. And how good to see an American up there trying to challenge the might of the East Africans. Evan Jaeger in second place, and the Frenchman in third, tracking their every move. And the other Capruto has got up ahead of Kemboy. That is Brimen Capruto, and he's got a couple of spots in front of him. So Jaeger is going to sit on the back of Conceslas Capruto, as they go down the back straight, they're all clearing the obstacles with a minimum of fuss. They all got through the water jump quite comfortably. As they head down the back straight, pace is genuine. Jager is content to sit behind. McKissie's back in fifth spot. Brimant Capruto is just behind him. And Ezekiel Kemboy is a couple of places behind them as well. And they're starting to spread out a little bit. The other one of the United States athletes, uh, Bohr and Cabral, back in the pack at the moment. Bohr's gone around them. Cabral's got back to second last. Hughes has dropped off the back. He's last. So the pace is such that there are gaps starting to form in the field. It's a very genuine pace here. Conceslas Capruto with a metre advantage over Jager. Brimant Capruto moves up into third place on the outside. And then Ezekiel Kemboy back in fifth. The race is unfolding. There's going to be fireworks at some stage, but not yet. And there's a little gap back to sixth place because Conceslas Capruto leads, Jaeger in second, and then we have Ezekiel Kemboy and Brimming Capruto running side by side. They may be exchanging a little word between themselves there. And there's been a faller, yep. a real shame, a Raptony who was fifth a few years ago in the World Championship. He's trying to decide whether he limps on. So one contender has gone, and we now have three, uh, three Kenyans and Evan Jaeger at the front, and this is beginning to warm up nicely. And Jaeger has now gone around Conceslas Capruto to take the lead. Brimman Capruto goes up to third. Bora's next, then Kemboy, Ben Yahia, on the inside of Kemboy, gets himself up into fifth place as they come down and pass the judge once again. But a, look at the gap starting to spring into the field now. So the pace is just generally winding up, and Jager is quite content to wind it up another notch. It is the USA first. They haven't won a medal since 1984. The last time they won this race was 1952. So the weight of history and the weight of the Kenyans, you would think, is against them. Kemboy looks very comfortable. 
on the outside of the American in Boer. He's got it into fourth place now. He goes past Boer, so it's USA 1, Kenya 2, 3 and 4. USA 5, it's setting itself up for a wonderful conclusion. Evan Yeager is doing what he didn't produce in Beijing at the World Championship last year. He's trying to run the sting out of the finish of some of the Kenyans. And just to clarify, we have Conceslas Kipruto, the two-time silver medalist, in second place. We have Ezekiel Kemboy in third. And Brimin Kipruto has now dropped back to sixth place. So, America followed by Conceslas Kipruto. He's the prince of Kenyan steeplechasing with Ezekiel Kemboy the reigning king, but is his reign going to come to an end? Conceslas Kipruto in second believes it's his time to supersede Ezekiel Kemboy. The uh, Frenchman just beginning to struggle because Jaeger has really piled on the pressure here. And Brimin Kipruto trying to come back and trying to close the gap on the lead three, but they've got 10 or 15 metres. This is gearing up to be a great last couple of laps. Elba Carley's got himself up into fifth place now. As Capruto's made the move, that's Brimen Capruto up to fourth. Elba Carley has countered the move, and now he's got Bohr and Ben Yahia behind him. Koval is next. McKissie's not going well at all. He's looked uncomfortable from a long way from home. He's back in about eighth place. The top three have singled away. And it's Jager looking very comfortable in front for the United States of America. Conceslas Capruto content to sit at his back after leading him for a couple of laps. And there's another runner hitting the deck. And I think that was Ben Yahia who may have uh, gone to ground at that barrier. And so he gets himself up again. It's starting to look like we've got a battle in three. USA won through Jager. Conceslas Capruto for Kenya is second. Ezekiel Kemboy, one of the great athletes of all time, is third. It's going to take something very special from either Brimen Capruto or Alba Kali to close that gap, which is now 30 metres. It looks like the medals are decided in the 3,000 steeplechase. We just don't know which order. This has been a great, great run from Evan Jaeger as he comes round with 500 metres to go. But Ezekiel Kemboy is in second. Conceslas Kipruto third. And the key here, as the two Kenyans switch places once again, Ezekiel Kemboy has an absolutely blistering acceleration. So has the old man got one final twist of glory in his locker as the young pretender to his throne, Conceslas Kipruto, hits the front down the back straight. A brilliant run from Evan Jaeger. He's still in the mix, still trying to live with the two Kenyans. But look at the surge down the back straight from Conceslas Kipruto. Kemboy won't think he's done just yet, even though the gap is out to 10 metres. But the problem that he's got is it's widening. And this brilliant talent, Conceslas Capruto, with a devastating sprint down the back, gets through the water jump, and surely victory is his now. He's starting to celebrate already. He put the hand up as they turn for home. Kemboy and Jager are in a battle for the silver medal, but Conceslas Capruto, have a look at this. He's turning around to the crowd. He's saying, how good am I? I'm the Olympic champion. Conceslas Capruto wins. Jager takes a famous silver medal for the United States. Kemboy, the great champion, has to be content with third place. And it was McKessie getting home into fourth. Have you seen a celebration like that? We said Ezekiel Kemboy dances to the beat of his own drum. Well, what about Conceslas? He's put on a show in Rio. We have seen the changing of the guard twice. He has had to watch Ezekiel Kemboy streaking away from him in Moscow in 2013, in Beijing last year. But this year, this day, was destined to belong to Conceslas Kipruto. And finally, we have seen a weakening in the mighty finish of Ezekiel Kemboy, because in every single major global gold we've seen him win before, from that position at the bell, it was perfectly set up for Kemboy to strike. But every great athlete has his day. Kemboy has had so many, and now it's the turn of Conceslas Kipruto. And I think he knew that his day 
has gone. There's a little bit of spice between them, so it's really good to see Ezekiel Kemboy, the older man, running round on the lap of honour. We have seen the greatest steeplechaser of all time in Ezekiel Kemboy, but he has passed the torch of greatness to a man almost 10, 12 years his junior. And Jaeger proudly carries the American flag, and there's a really growing, vibrant distance-running community all across the United States, and they will be delighted for the American, not just winning the silver medal, but the manner in which he's done it, amazing. And there are the three. What a famous photo. Invariably, we see a couple of Kenyans. In fact, that's Caval, who was getting himself in there, just wanted a photo with the Kenyans, wanted a photo with the great man, Kemboy, who finishes in the bronze medal position. But the 21-year-old, Conceslas Capruto, wins in an Olympic record of 8.03.28. Evan Jager of the United States second, 8.04.28. And it was Ezekiel Kemboy third in the bronze medal position in 8.08.47. Personal best for El Bacali in fifth place. Personal best for Hilary Bohr in ninth place. It was exciting as the 3,000 metre steeplechase usually is.